Hey guys, it's Rich here at the Ultra Motorsports Warehouse. Uh, we are doing a quick video for <clears throat> potential online buyer. This is our 1965 uh, Cadillac DeVille. This is probably like a Calais model um, based on like the interior and some of the stuff you see in the interior. Um, the um, Just like all of our videos, what we're going to do is start right here at the driver's side front and um, just kind of work our way around, um, checking out the whole car. Uh, the chrome on the car uh, is pretty good. I know I had to do one of these bumperettes. I had to have re-chromed, um, and I it uh, uh, one of these one of these got re-chromed. But um, as you can see, let's see. There's a little bit of scuffing right here. That's probably not going to come off. Uh, it's got a scuff on it right here on the bumper. Um, the bumperette looks good. And then the front bumper looks really nice, actually. This, these are, bumpers are huge. They're like, uh, what, four pieces, you know? One, two, and then three, four, uh, or three pieces, excuse me. <clears throat> On the inserts for the headlights uh, look very nice. I would say there's some small pitting a little bit, but nothing major. I mean, you gotta be a few six inches away from it to really see it. Uh, the chrome down the side here looks pretty good. Uh, and like I said, the bezels look nice. Uh, I think a lot of this, so this car is painted with like single stage paint or like a, a, a lot of it could be the original lacquer paint. Can't really tell. I can't really see a bunch of tape lines, but um, you know, I do know that it doesn't have clear coat on it. Uh, it will take a shine as you can see. I mean, the car looks, looks nice. It looks presentable. Uh, but <clears throat> if you look in close, you can just, you can tell that it's a, a single stage paint and Maybe like on some of the peaks here, like right here, you can kind of see where, so here I am like um, three feet from the car. If you bring it in real close, somebody along this peak right here just with a, you know, a buffer or something got a little, a little aggressive and it kind of knocked that down a little bit. So that's pretty common for that type of paint. Um, you know, uh, it's uh, really not fixable without painting the whole hood, but at any, at any rate, this is a very, um, nice car in the price point that we're talking about here under $15,000. Um, hubcaps look pretty good. These are kind of similar to like the sombrero type hubcap. Um, they look good. These are bias ply, uh, coker white walls. Um, they are a newer tire. I don't, I mean, they're, uh, I, I can't say how new they are, but they are in good condition, um, all the way around it looks like. So as we see here, um, I don't know if that could, that could be a little bit of a patch of some kind. Looks like it's been stone guarded up in the wheel wells. That doesn't bother me. I don't mind that at all. It looks okay. Uh, the car looks pretty straight, really. Um, you know, I mean, it's a uh, door gaps look good. Um, the trim looks pretty good, really. Uh, looks looks straight. Um, even down here low, where you'd expect to see some bubbles or something, um, it looks pretty good. Pretty dry, really, car. Uh, as we look at the driver's side door, um, the mirror is, let's see, this is loose, okay, so I don't know if there's a way to tighten that, but it needs tightened. Uh, and then the chrome is, it's got a little gouge in it here, and maybe you need some, some steel wool or something on it. Uh, the vent window is in great shape. So the vent window and vent window chrome is in great shape. The only thing that, that what does look a little tired is this uh, weather strip. Right here, you can see this weather strip here, this one piece. It kind of travels the whole pillar of the door. That does look a little tired. I will say that, you know, we're fortunate to have that be the thing that might need replaced rather than this. This is a real bear to replace. Um, belt molding looks pretty good. Uh, the squeegee on the outside looks like it's seen better days. You can kind of see it here. It's kind of just chewed up in a couple spots. Um, door handle, I mean, that's really pretty presentable chrome, really, I think. Um, let's see, we'll, come, we'll just cruise the whole outside of the car, and then we'll come back to the inside. Uh, skirts look nice. Uh, the white top, uh, uh, the white paint on top, we see a little bit of this, like this kind of checking. You can see right here, this little crack like that. And then up here, you see where somebody maybe... Maybe a polisher kind of got thin, and then once it got thin, it just kind of, um, that's, that's like a little bit of discoloration, almost like a rust color 
coming through. So once somebody made that paint thin, it just kind of stayed that way. Up on top, it looks really nice. I mean, I don't, you know, there's a few, one or two little nicks from just road stuff, but pretty nice, really. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Rear quarter looks good. I don't see a lot of evidence that there has ever been any, any quarter work back here. Um, the chrome taillight bezel looks very nice. I mean, this whole thing is what I'm calling the bezel. What doesn't, what looks a little tired is this, this like aluminum or stainless insert. You can see it's kind of chewed up right there. I, my guess is, I don't know if this is a difficult part to find or what, but you can kind of see, it's like I'm standing a couple feet away from the car and then you get in close, you can just see how this is kind of just chewed up a little. So, um, rear bumper looks uh, pretty nice, really. It does look like there's a little bit of rust damage down here on the rear bumper, okay? But overall, for a nice driver, this is a really nice, nice driver with some nice looking chrome right now. Um, this taillight bezel looks very nice. I don't see any issues. Uh, and this rear, these rear pieces too look great back here. Um, very a minimal amount of this, like these tings in the stainless, okay? Um, maybe there's like one across the entire trunk area. Uh, the gasket in here looks good. It's intact. Uh, the passenger side rear quarter, pretty happy with that. I don't see any issues. Trunk deck looks good. More of the same here. Somebody got a little aggressive with a polisher and kind of, it's a little dusty right now, excuse me. But somebody got a little aggressive with a polisher and, uh, you know, hit this peak, and that's what that's what happens. So, um, <clears throat> back here we see more of the checking on the white little crack here, and then just this little little nicks in in the white top. So, again, down low where you'd expect to see bubbles or something. I think it looks great. I mean, really nice. Um, and then as we go move along, again, same thing on the other side. This uh, weather strip is obviously just real tired. This one piece here, one piece weather strip. I don't know if that's a difficult piece to find or what, because the car is really pretty stand up um, other than that. As we look at the driver, our passenger side front, um, we can see uh, the bumper end looks nice. Uh, bezel, again, looks very good. Some very minimal chrome pitting in here. And then <clears throat> there's some little uh, nicks that have been touched up. You can kind of see them up in the front like that. And then there's one real kind of ugly scratch up on top. I've not tried to put paint into it or anything. I certainly could, but you know, that's is a little bit of an eyesore, okay? So it will not polish out, it's in, the, it's in there. So it would have to be, um, you know, since it is single stage, it's possible, you know, there are talented people out there that could fill it and then polish it out and then make it look really pretty. And that might work. So let's move on to the interior real quick. Uh, interior looks very nice. As you can see, courtesy lights are working just fine. Um, door jams look good. They look finished. The weather stripping looks supple and nice. <clears throat> Upper door panels on the inside look very nice. I, you know, you would expect for this to be just banged all to heck and it looks really good also these plastic pieces you know if these were to get real dry like on a you know like on a Lincoln or a Riviera or something these things would crack all to heck well this one is really nice and the this this appears original to me all this and it looks great uh, this might have been redone you know but that's okay it looks good <clears throat> inner door jam looks very good. I think these are the original seats myself and they are just in excellent condition. I mean really really good condition. Still got the body tag right there. Body by Fisher or in, uh, Fleetwood interior by Fleetwood Fisher. It's pretty cool. <laughs> the seats I, I'll show you there's one minor nick on the other side but very very tidy inside and out. I mean I you know I'll point out if there's something that I see that I think looks ratty but really 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 nice. Um, all this plastic looks great. This stainless piece you, you'd think would be all banged up. It's not. It's great. Dash looks near perfect. And here's what I was talking about. these The bezels and stuff of the dash and the gauge cluster look excellent. And then so does this steering wheel. 
this steering wheel is just it doesn't have a crack in it that I can see really good shape <clears throat> um, headliners not sagging or anything like that it's all it's very very tight very tidy rear package tray up top looks very good let's cruise around the other side like if you know if you want to jump in a car and have fun or drive something cool around every day I this is a great great candidate I mean this looks really good I mean I you know I wouldn't paint this car I wouldn't do I wouldn't do a thing to it you know polish it and that's it the seats are immaculate there's one small tear that I can find, and that's it right there. Obviously, this spring, you know, over the years, you sit, and it just cushions up. So power seats, power seats are working. Awesome. So, again, guys, if, if there is something bad with the interior, I would have pointed it out by now, okay? I don't see it if there is. Uh, power windows all do work. Uh, and the uppers on the doors look great. Weather stripping looks soft and supple and very nice. <coughs> uh, I'm not going to start the car uh, because we're going to look in the engine compartment just a little bit, and uh, and I, you know I don't want to fight with that thing while it's running. So typical Cadillac hood weighs a ton. Um, this is a no air car, and you know just an honest car, really bare bones. Uh, you know power steering power brake no air um, it, a base base car for the time and yeah I I don't see a tape line so I'm thinking a lot of this was original paint obviously there's a you know a hood um, under hood liner that would have went in there a lot of room for improvement on the car you know if you wanted to but simple stuff you know if you wanted if you want to get a car and just like make it a little bit nicer over time maybe flip it sell it for a little more money great candidate for that because there's not a lot of I mean you're not gonna put a new interior in this car you're gonna maintain this one it's gonna be perfect you're not gonna um, you're probably not gonna paint this car you know you're gonna get it polished or something like that but you know I mean really straight car really solid car original paint car um, engine runs strong I don't there's no issues that I can uh, that I'm aware of right now with the engine so I mean, I'm pretty happy with uh, with this thing overall so <clears throat> okay guys uh, again <clears throat> reach out to us on the internet or give us a call let's see here not even my foot on the gas right nothing sits there and idles nice good deal so yep if, uh, if anybody has any questions you can uh, reach us through our website ultramotors.net uh, my name is Rich, and uh, feel free to give us a call, and we can talk a little bit more about this car, okay? Great. Thanks again. Again, it's Rich, and it's www.ultramotors.net. Thank you very much.